Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I love vision therapy. I have strabismus, which is when your eyes do not point in the same direction. And for the last four years, I have been learning everything that I can about vision therapy, different eye exercises that are helping my eyes work together and my brain to use that information together. And one of my favorite things to do is to go into the office and learn some new exercises, get homework assignments, and then come home and create new ways of doing those same exercises. I love um, being creative. I love trying to make things better to perfect them, to make it an even more effective exercise. If you wanna see some of the exercises I've created that you can get, you can go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com. I have some different PDF downloads. I have a course. And basically all of that is when I find something really great and then I try to make it even better and especially more applicable for those of us with strabismus. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing some of those things that you can do yourself in your own house that I have done to either make the exercises a little bit better for me at home or um, recreate some of the really great tools they have in the office that I want to have at home. So disclaimer, this is not like a do-it-yourself vision therapy thing, right? You should be in vision therapy, at a vision therapy office. If you don't have one, call me, or no, don't call me, but go fill out the form on my website. Um, you can find that at learn.servicebusinesssolutions.com as well. I'll help you find an office. That's where you should start. But once you're there, I'm your girl, okay? So today we're gonna talk all about the Brock string, okay? Mine's always tangled. The Brock string is an exercise that is so cool because it tells you where in space your eyes are pointing. If I hold up this string, and all these beads are real distracting sometimes, okay? So I'm gonna hold it like this. If I hold up this string, what happens is that my left eye sees one version of the string, my right eye sees the other version of the string. And when those images overlap, it actually looks like I've got an X going on that's crossing about right here. So the image from my one eye and my other eye, and they cross in the middle. So the idea of the Brock string is that you put a bead or any sort of target on the string and you look at the bead and you try to make it so that the strings are crossing right through the bead, this illusion that there's two strings. Now this is easier said than done. A lot of people with strabismus will maybe think they're looking at the bead, but it's actually crossing in front of the bead. So they think they're looking at the bead, but their eyes are actually pointing two inches in front of the bead. So it's really great because you get so much instant feedback. Love this tool. So a lot of people will go to vision therapy and they'll be sent home with one of these, but if you haven't been or you want another one or whatever, I wanted to give you some ideas on how to make your own. So all you need is some piece of anything that is long. And let's say at least like four feet long, maybe five, okay? So you could get string, you can get twine from the garden, you can get this decorative scratchy string, yarn. Um, my personal favorite is a wooden dowel. You get these at Walmart for like a buck or two. I love having a solid something. This is probably three feet long, so it's not quite as long, but you can still do a lot with it. So it doesn't really matter. The idea is that you have something that you can hold up to your nose and put out in front of you and you're trying to fixate your eyes and see where you're looking on this dowel and see if you can get it crossing or the string or whatever you're looking at, okay? The other thing you need are fix, fixation targets. So some ideas that you can use, um, buttons, right? If you don't have any beads, you can use a button. This is what I did on my yarn. Put a button on the string and you get that same effect. I look at the button and I see two strings going into the button and two strings coming out of the button, right? Another one that I used, <laughs> this one was kind of a fun one. I have pattern blocks. Um, they're like those geometric shapes. And I just got my drill and I drilled a hole through it. That's actually kind of great because it's a little bit bigger and then you just thread it through, which might be kind of hard because I'm doing it on video. Well, 
it's too hard because it's all frayed. But if you cut it off, it'll be fine. Okay, so you put that on there. So that's another option. You can find a piece of wood, whatever, and drill a hole through it if you have a drill. Um, another option is just to use regular beads. Um, we have like millions of beads. If you need a bead, just call me. Come borrow some. I'll give you as many as you need. We have way too many beads. So there's beads with bigger openings, smaller openings. You put them on a string. You can use, forgot to mention, you can use a ribbon, right? Um, they're all gonna be a little bit different and you can try all these different ways. Sometimes, for me, just mixing it up, using a different string. I've been looking at the same white string that I got from my office for four years and my brain's just kind of tired of it. But when I switch up the colors, if I switch up the textures, if I switch up the targets I'm looking at, I feel like it gives my brain a little bit of a reset and it's just a little bit more fun. So um, it's the same concept. It's not like this is gonna be better or worse. It's just different. Um, and the last thing I wanna mention, so you've gotta have your string, you've gotta have your fixation target on the string or the dowel and then a way to a, somewhere to attach it. So a lot of times people just tie it to a doorknob, but then that limits you because you're only looking at that gaze, right? Um, you can get really good at, I'm gonna use this one because it's the smallest and easy to see inside the video. If I'm always just holding it straight in front of me, that's good, I can get really good at getting my eyes to point in an exact spot straight in front of me, but you also wanna be able to keep your head forward and be able to look up and get that same effect and look down and look to the sides, right? We are wanting to get it so that in any gaze with our head facing forward and our eyes moving around, we can use our eyes together effectively and precisely at all these different gazes. And so just always connecting it to a doorknob means that you're always in the same gaze. And so I really like the idea of using, I mean, there's so many options, but I feel like the easiest is to use a super strong magnet with a hook. I think I got this on Amazon for a couple bucks. I can put a link in the description. Um, most walls in your house, whether it's like around a window or around a door, there's something magnetic, especially if you've got a corner, there's gonna be a magnetic strip in there. So you can attach this anywhere along that, and that allows you to go get some different vertical heights going on. If you don't have that, you can do this on your refrigerator. Um, most exterior doors have metal in them. So um, just try different things, but that is a really easy solution that allows you, if you're using some sort of string, to move it up and down. Um, with a dowel, the reason I like the dowel is you don't have to have it fixated on anything, right? If I back up a little bit, like I can be looking my head forward and I can put the stick straight forward. I can move it up, over, down, round, right? Like I don't have to move the end of the string anywhere. It just automatically is with moving the dowel, which is awesome. And for the fixation target, I just took another pattern block and I drilled a bigger hole. I think you can even get smaller dowels though. You might even be able to buy little beads that fit on this. Let's see. <gasps> there we go. Another idea is if you don't have any beads, like let's just be really boring. Take a marker and color on your stick, okay? This is easy. You look at it and you look right at that dot. Eh, it's not as good, but I can still get the X going. And so the idea is that you can be as creative as you're, you want. This does not have to be on white string with the colorful beads and a little handle. You can go around your house right now. Like, yeah, if you want to go to the store, just buy a Brock string. <laughs> go on Amazon and spend $10. But you can look around your house and probably find something that you can make work. Those are just some ideas. I want to get your brain going. Try different things. If you're given an assignment in vision therapy and you're like, oh, I just like the color, it might be irritating to you or your brain might not re respond to it. Try a different color. Try a different room, try different lighting. All these different things can help you have more success. And when you plateau, it can kind of reset and help you get to that next level again. So as always, don't do these exercises if you're not under the supervision of a great optometrist because you can make a mess of your vision. I know because I did this, guys. I tried it on my own for like six months and I didn't really make much progress and I ended up getting a lot of double vision. And luckily I went into vision therapy and they sorted things out and were help me, able to help me get on my way. But 
I just, I, it's really difficult to try to fix a vision problem without the help of a professional. So 100% recommend that. Like I said before, you can go to learn.servicemissolutions.com and I can get you figured out. I can help you find a great person to help you along your way. So have a wonderful day. Let me know if you have any other fun ways that you've done the Brock string in the comments and I will see you in the next video.